you want to do the intro with me? Okay, let's do the intro, buddy. Hey ho, how are you? Um, I'm good, thanks for asking. Let me know how you're doing down there. Uh, I'm gonna try an annoying YouTuber thing. Like and subscribe to this video. Wait, like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you want more. This doesn't feel genuine, I don't like it. I'm not gonna ask you to do that again. Um, I wanna show you where I come from. Uh, I know I've posted some pictures about my past on Instagram, but let's go to Google Earth and I'm gonna show you literally my entire journey. What are you saying, money? Do you wanna show, do you wanna see where your mom comes from? Oh, come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. So, money is gonna show you where her breeder was. No, I'm kidding. I don't even know. I bought money literally out of the back of a car. Uh, <laughs> we lucked out. He's so cute. So yeah, let's go to Google Earth. I use Google Earth. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't know about it. Most people use Google Maps, but Google Earth is a way to really explore the planet, um, like in a very visually stimulating way. So yeah, enjoy. Also, shout out to PewDiePie for giving me the idea. Feel like I love you. Please let me host meme review. Okay. One day, I'll be worthy of it, I swear. Okay. Let's go to New York, specifically Long Island, in Suffolk County, on Hawthorne Avenue. Welcome to my childhood home. Let's check it out. I lived in this little house. Um, I don't know how big it was, but it was by the train tracks. And this is what it looked like. Look how cute. I was a little cutie guy. Little did people know the crazy abuse that was going on. But, I mean, it was a cute house on a nice big property. I think it's like a third of an acre. Um, the area that I grew up in, there was a lot of property. Um, houses had a lot of property. Look, it's got that little driveway. It went all the way back. So, this is a, an Italian street in a mostly Italian neighborhood. Uh, so, everyone on the block was pretty much Italian. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to it as a small house. I had a bedroom upstairs and that is the house. There's not, I tried to find pictures of it online, but it was sold such a long time ago that there's nothing from a recent sale, but the, the street was pretty. Going down this street, there's the bridge and Underneath the bridge is how you get to the train station. So it was super cool having a train station right there because you could take the train into New York City. And New York City provided me with an outlet to get out of the small town that I was living in. Um, so it, it was super cool. Very pretty train station too. They, they like did it up nice. Okay. Let's zoom out and I'm gonna show you where I went to high school. East Islip High School. The BAM. This was a very special hellhole uh, to me. I, I hated this place more than my house. <laughs> so, but that's okay because I never really was here. Um, my high school and junior high school years were in and out of institutions and playing hooky. Um, I, I wasn't really in school much, but when I was in school, I would totally sneak out these back doors and smoke cigarettes on the side of the road. Um, and that's the football field, which you would never find me on. Um, there's not much to say about school. Now, I want to show you a place that I actually loved, and it was where I had my first job. And it was at the East Islip Marina, which is a marina. <laughs> and I worked as SpongeBob because I was a fry cook in their little um, their little shack. So let's check out the East Islip Marina. It's so pretty. I really, really loved it there. My my best memories are here. Oh, it looks like the Google map won't let us go um, beyond their little entrance. So here's some pictures of the joint. So that's it. That's where I would cook, cook burgers and, and deep fry 
food. Oh yeah, look, there we go. We got some clam strips, calamari, cheeseburger, oysters. Oh yeah, I can do it all. Look how beautiful. This, this was the view from their little patio. And they would do karaoke out there and have parties all summer long. Just boats and water and food. It was the best memories of my entire childhood were at this marina. Chilling. Mm, so beautiful. Great place to watch the sunset. That, but that was just a summer job. And I got that job when I was 14. So I got sent away when I was 14 for a little bit. And I came back and, and got back into school. And that's when I got my second job, which was working at a bagel store. That's right. The only job you can get when you're that young is lowly food service jobs. So I worked in this bagel store, the best bagels for for cities over. So it was always popping. And I just remember making so much tips and eating so many good bagels. To this day, I have not had a bagel that tasted as good from a bagel from this place in my free time where all the kids hung out it is at this gas station which actually happens to be across from the bagel store the owners were super chill um sometimes they'd let me pump gas and give me blunt wraps in exchange and i i, I don't know we just hung out in the parking lot you have that one friend who has a car and we would just sit in that car and we would just smoke weed and, and hang out at the gas station. I guess it was interesting because there was always people in and out. So it was good for people watching. It was good for drug deals because it doesn't look suspicious since people don't spend a long time at gas stations anyway. Um, that's the truth. That That's where I hung out. <laughs> there was another place I hung out and it was back on my block and we called it the pit. And it was just this plot of land that had never been developed. And there was just tons of dirt and trees. <laughs> and uh, we cleared it out and we made all these dirt mounds and rode mountain bikes in there. And that was when we, we were younger. As we got older, then we used it for getting drunk and just normal teenage shenanigans. But the pit was on my block and the pit was popping. I really, I had some good times in the pit. Um, yeah, it was so overgrown. It looks like it still is. Oh, look, a cat. Hi. Hi, oh, you're kitty. Me, 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 me. Well, it can't be cats and pits and bagels all the time. Um, I ended up going to a place called Sagamore, and it was... Um, a psychiatric institution for minors and it wasn't pleasant I was gone for about a year um, worst year of my life easy easy worst year of my life um, that's what it looked like <laughs> uh, that's what it looked like there's more on it I made a video called how I escaped a mental institution you can watch it but after there, I got released to this house, which I also had issues with. Um, it's where my dad lived. It didn't work out. So I went to this house, which was my mom's new digs. She had done well with her new husband and they got a nice house on the lake. Really pretty. They, they did good on that house. Very beautiful. Right on the water. Um, but you know what? It didn't work out. <laughs> uh, so I had to leave. And from there, I went to New Jersey when I met my fiancé at 18 years old. And we ended up in this place in Carlstadt over on 6th Street. So we lived in the basement of this house and it was, ugh, it was disgusting. I hated it so much. Um, there was no ceiling, so it was just like sheetrock uh, that would come down on our heads when people upstairs walked and there was no window. Um, 
Well, the, I guess there was a window in the garage, but the actual apartment was beneath. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much to say. I, here's the funny thing though, is my first real apartment was literally up the street. I wasted no time getting out of there. This is where I started webcaming was this house. So I made enough money and I was like, I'm going to get an apartment. And I didn't have a car. I didn't know how to drive. So I found the nearest apartment building and I ended up right here. And that was my door. And that was my window. And that was my first apartment. It was like 500 square feet, I think. Five or 600 square feet. A little one bedroom. I loved it. I was so proud. I didn't have much of a life in New Jersey. It was just webcamming all day and all night. Although I did try going to college for a semester. Uh, so what I would do is there was a bus stop over here. You get on the bus, it brings you right into Harlem. You hop on the A train and then it brought you right to the school that I went to. It was called New York Institute of Technology and it was in Columbus Circle. It's so amazing, crazy, cool place in New York City to be. However, school was not for me. I thought it was a big scam and I had to go. Okay, then I really started getting popping and I moved to Los Angeles to start my career in adult. And this is the model house that I moved into. Um, it was so nice. It was like 5,000 square feet. Uh, I felt like I had really made it, but Things progressed and it was time for me to get my own place. So I moved into these apartments in Studio City, which is a really nice neighborhood, super close to Beverly Hills. And um, I lived on Laurel Canyon Boulevard. I still didn't know how to drive by the time I had moved in here. So I picked here partially because of how close it was. Oh look, there's my balcony. So you could just walk. And this is where I met my best friend and got Botox for the first time. Yep, see, that's where I got the Botox. And uh, Mel worked here at Sunset Tan. And the rest is history. Now, the rest of the story is happening right now. I bought my house, then I bought my apartment, I bought my condo. And one day, if I never have these properties again, you're gonna see those too. But you can check out the tour of the dollhouse, which I will put here. And I'll see you for the next video. Love ya.